Let's see. Let's get this rolling here. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I, you know what? Regardless of whatever you think, I hate making videos like this. And no, you did not read the title wrong. The title is going to say, Forge from Freedom is a Fraud and why he's ripping off the gun community with Yankee Marshall's help of all people. And uh, it's not a mistake. It's a deliberate thing. And I hate I hate to have to come on and talk about this. Uh, I almost feel like 50 Cent, you know? Like I've got to go out there and talk about someone who owes me money. Yes. That sometimes has to happen, I guess. That's why old Fiddy has to do it. And that's why I'm here doing it. And, and you know... I'll get into that, but yeah, the fraud thing, I am not even joking about that. We can go, I'll flip you guys over here to my uh, my computer screen, and we can look at what's the meaning of what constitutes fraud. It says wrongful or criminal deception intended to result in financial or personal gain. I don't know. Everyone's got their own, everyone has their own definition of fraud, right? So let's start there. Why am I throwing that one out there? Because I believe that this is a deliberate thing that's happening from uh, the part of Forge from Freedom and Sam, who um, is someone that if you've been watching my channel, you've seen him here on the channel, you've seen him on the podcast channel, uh, you've seen me wearing t-shirts and all that from Forge from Freedom. But there's this crazy thing that's been going on for more than two years. So let's go back. Over two years ago, I met Sam from Forge from Freedom. He, you know, he said he has a t-shirt business. He wants, he's a gun guy. He wanted to get into this thing. Uh, when it comes to t-shirts myself, I didn't want to be in the business of making and selling t-shirts and getting them out to people. But I know that it's a way that folks out there, people in the gun community, like to do that as a way of showing their support not only for uh, gun tubers, but as well um, for the Second Amendment, etc. So they like to go out there, buy t-shirts from people, and uh, wear those t-shirts and, and be loud and proud about the fact that they support the Second Amendment. But, you know, it's a complicated business in and of itself to do. So Sam came along, said he wanted to do it. I didn't do a lot of deep diving into who he was. You know, I looked up, there was a, there was a website there. I believe at the time Yankee Marshall was on there. So I said, okay, I'm going to do this. And um, I think through me, a few other people, you know, through me getting um, some of the other guys I know out there in the gun community to respond to him, he got several people to get on board. And that thing has become like a saga. Now, since two years ago, we actually got paid from Sam one time, 50 bucks. That's it. That's what we got out of our association with him to date right up till now and you know what I know is that from him he owes us um, from, from numbers I saw we sold about thirty seven hundred dollars worth of t-shirts that you the people out there um, went bought from his website Forge from Freedom and you thought you were supporting us and uh, about 20 percent of that was supposed to come back to us right um, now, what does that mean? He obviously has to make these t-shirts, he has a website, all that kind of stuff. Um, he's got to print them up, send them out to people, mail it out to people. So he takes 80% of that and that covers his costs and gives him a profit. And we get 20% of that and he's supposed to send that to us on a regular basis. Never happened. I've asked him several times about that over the years, what's going on. Pretty much, I would just usually get uh, something from him saying, okay, I'm going to give you guys a gift card so that you could buy t-shirts on the site, which means we're going to get t-shirts from him that's promoting the website that he's going to sell and people are going to give money thinking they're giving it to us and all that. So we do that because, of course, we want to wear the shirts. We want to get people to buy the stuff. But he always says, yeah, I'm going to you know, send you the money that's owed. And over all this time, that money has never come through up until this day today that I'm making this video and uh, it's uh, it's been frustrating it's been a, a long frustrating thing now there were like I said there were other people who were dealing with him as well and I'm gonna say that about six months ago I think uh, Sam said that PayPal through eBay came down on him he was selling stuff on eBay 
I'm not really sure what he was selling on eBay. It's none of my business. The t-shirts, so far as I know, my t-shirts and no one else's t-shirts in the gun community were supposed to be sold through eBay. That's a separate thing. We don't get any of those profits or anything like that from it, but they came down on him and they were holding up some money. And, you know, we try to help him out with that um, by, he said, oh, you know, help me out, promote things. We did all that stuff. We've done it all this time over the years. Then the next thing I know, um, Amazon also came down on him supposedly, but we still don't have the money that's been owed to us for all this time. And on top of that, um, there was something else he wanted me to get involved in with him. Uh, I think where he developed uh, a product that he wanted to sell to people, specifically a knife. He wanted to sell this knife to people, and he came to me saying, hey, if you help me sell this knife to folks, we'll cut you in for some of that. That's the kind of thing that people do on YouTube or even in the gun world. Fine. The problem is, he wanted me to convince folks out there to buy this knife or put the money down on this knife in kind of like a Kickstarter sort of deal that they would put down their money and then later they would get the knife. They wouldn't immediately send it, send it out. He would put all this money together and then build these knives and then send them to people. And I said no. Why did I say no? Because I know that I'm not, if I'm not, if I have agreements with him and I'm not getting paid from what I'm doing, why would I actually go out there to my audience and encourage them to, um, to send more money to him that not only are they not going to get the thing that they're buying, it's probably never going to come to me because I'm already in that thing. And on top of that, I also looked into it and spoke to a few of the people that I knew that was doing uh, business with him. Uh, specifically, and I, and I talked to these guys and I told them that I'm going to mention the names. I don't want to, obviously the, they're people that could speak for themselves, so I'm not going to get all in their business. But I did speak to Mr. Guns and Gear who uh, was on his site. I also spoke to Mac from Military Arms Channel and um, they also have not gotten paid for some time. Going, predating these issues that Sam is saying that he's having right now. You know, so I said, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna get involved in that. He wasn't happy about it. Um, you know, and he actually wasn't happy that I was asking other people about what's going on with them. But I just don't see that as me being responsible to you, to my audience out there, by encouraging them to get into something like this. Now, on top of all that, he was trying to get us, because of these issues that he's supposedly having with PayPal and eBay and Amazon, which have nothing to do with us, he was trying to get us to help him out. And on a, on a normal basis, someone that I'm doing business with that I know we've got a good relationship going on, I would do that. But how can I encourage people to go buy stuff from his website thinking that they're supporting me and they're getting t-shirts and things like that, but they're not supporting me, that I know the money's not coming to me and now I know it's not going to these guys either. So I declined to do that. Now, here's why I mention Yankee Marshall and all of this and I say that Yankee Marshall is actually helping him out. Because in the middle of all the crazy things going on here, Yankee Marshall made a video. I'll show you guys that. I'll play it. I've got it pulled up right here. Um, so here's a video that Yankee Marshall made. I'll play a little bit out of this. It's called Fighting Back Against PayPal, Amazon, and Google, Forge from Freedom. And he's talking about, um, uh, about this whole thing going uh, on. If you're like me, go buy five or six of these. Not this particular one. Buy this one, but buy other ones too. And I'm not trying to do this to promote my t-shirts. I don't care if you buy my t-shirts. Buy any t-shirt on the site. Max t-shirts. Uh, I think Such has t-shirts. Uh, I think uh, uh, Hank Strange has t-shirts. You know, and so on. Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, so that video went up and... Hold on, let me see. I think we, okay, there we go. Yeah, so that video went up, and I thought to myself, what, what's, uh, what's Yankee Marshall doing here? I know I'm not getting paid from Forge from Freedom. I know that Mac isn't. I know that Guns and Gear isn't. There's other people that have told me they've had issues as well. I'm not gonna get into that. But I know several people, you know, um, that are going through this issue. Why is Yankee Marshall talking about this? Is Yankee Marshall not having this issue? 
Is he getting the money that he's expecting from Fortune Freedom? I know Jonathan um, from Tactical Toolbox made a video that he was mentioning this whole thing of how um, people say they don't make money, like Yankee Marshall says he's not in it for the money, but he is selling t-shirts. I believe, um, from what I've heard, and you know, someone can clarify this to me, that he doesn't get, he doesn't take the money from those t-shirts. He gives that money to charity, but uh, maybe Fortune Freedom never sends that money to that charity. Maybe Yankee Marshall knows about all of this. But there's an easy way to find all of this out before you make a video telling people that they're supporting me by buying these t-shirts. Maybe you ask me. Maybe you ask the other guys before you get into this. Because, you know, I think that I think you should look into these things and find out. If you're if you're selling t-shirts and you don't you don't care about the money, but you're giving the money to charity, you should have some kind of control over what's going on here. And I find it very, very difficult to believe that we're not getting paid, but Yankee Marshall is getting paid, or this money's actually going to those charities. But he never reached out to me. He just made this video. And I'm going through all of this at the same time thinking, why is this guy making a video like this telling people to go buy stuff and that it's supporting me when it isn't? Why doesn't he check up with me and find out about that? Listen, maybe I'll give him the, the, the benefit of the doubt and say that he's ignorant. I mean, it's Yankee Marshall. He's probably, right? We could say, he's just ignorant about all of this. Well, I think that's also a problem. Then you don't care about your fans who you're telling to buy stuff. You're telling them that they're doing good things by giving money to this thing or that thing. And you're, ne and you're not taking the time to look into it and find out exactly what's going on with that money and where is it going. I know there's going to be people who say money doesn't matter. It's not important. It does matter. Money, okay, it's a construct. It's something that we all made up in society, right? It's been going on a lot longer than I've been around. But it's important. It pays bills. That's how things get done. It's the life's blood of the world, of how the world goes around. All of us, everyone out there has bills that they have to pay. Me included. I'm guessing Yankee Marshall, I don't know, he's a saint, maybe he doesn't have any bills. Everyone has that. And, and I think that in, including um, Sam from Forge from Freedom, he has bills that he has to pay, including to the people who are helping him do business, who've, bringing, who've been bringing business to him um, with, you know, by bringing folks in to buy t-shirts from his website where he says he believes in freedom and all that kind of stuff and thinking that they are supporting their favorite gun tubers out there. But it's a lie. I'm, I'm here to tell you guys that. I'm talking to you straight. It's a lie. It's BS. And um, I know for a fact that I asked him to remove us from the Forge from Freedom site, to take Hank Strange, the Hank Strange store off of there, and send us the monies that were owed to us. I did this several weeks ago, up till right now, never got that money. I'm just telling you guys the uh, the the facts. I also checked up with the other guys. Uh, I checked up with Mac. Same situation going on. The, the the folks out there that think they're supporting Military Arms Channel through buying Forge from Freedom shirts, you're not doing it. I'm just here to tell you that. Um, I followed up with him. Same thing going on. I also followed up with Guns and Gear. Same situation. There's no support going on there. So, now, let's... Uh, Let's do a little uh, experiment here. If you go, I'll, I'll show you guys. I have Fortune Freedom here pulled up on, uh, on the computer here. So if you go in here, okay, if you go in and you, t you take a look, here's the Patriot Collaborators. It's the Yankee Marshall NLC, all right, Military Arms Channel. Well, that's weird. Military Arms Channel also told me that he asked to have his store removed. But it's not. It's not removed. So he so Forge from Freedom is still selling these shirts. People are buying these shirts. You know, you click on a shirt here, you think you're supporting uh, Mac, you can buy a shirt from them and you're not supporting Mac. Okay? So that's one thing. Now let's say let's uh okay, that's Military Arms Channel. He's still got a store there, even though he has to have that store removed. Let's open up another window. And let's just search uh, search here, Forge from Freedom. You, you notice, you guys noticed when, um, when we searched there, there was no Hank Strange. But let's say we go in on Google, and I'm going to put this in here. Hank Strange. 
I'm going to type that in. I'm doing all of this. I don't really believe in editing and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just doing this so you guys could see that. Hank Strange, Forge from Freedom. Let's search it. Boom. Hank Strange. There's still a store. Well, let's click on it. Maybe that's a dead link. Maybe it doesn't really. What? There's actually shirts here. And now it's called H. S legacy designs really <laughs> so I've asked to have my store removed and not have a store there and it's here under HS legacy designs so people would still think that they're coming in here and supporting Hank Strange and they're not that is fraud as far as I'm concerned all right let's do that same thing for guns and gear We didn't see Guns and Gear when we just looked at that. What? There's a Mr. Guns and Gear collection in here also. Let's click on it. See where it goes. Guns and Gear collection. Why would that be? You know, why would there still be a Guns and Gear collection in here? Why is this even still here? Why when I go here, there's still stuff that says, oh, you can, you can uh, buy these shirts. That's a little bit crazy, right? This is the thing. This is what I think to me. Let me let the camera uh, get back up the color here. Okay, this is why I say that this is fraud. This is straight out, straight up, absolute fraud that's going on here that's being pulled on the gun community. And I know there's lots of people in the gun community that when things like this come up, we deal with these things in the background. It happens all the time, be honest with you. There's always people that we make deals with and we say, okay, we're going to do this and, they're, and they say they're going to do this thing. We do what we say we're going to do and they don't ever do it. I know it's a tough thing and no one wants to talk about it because they would rather make videos and, and talk about guns and talk about the Second Amendment and, and get folks out there involved and engaged in what's happening. And I, I, I understand that and I agree with it. But at some point, if you stay silent you know, you're, you're being robbed. That's what I believe. I've been saying that lately. Silence is violence. When these things are happening, when people do stuff like this, and the community in general doesn't know about this, about what's going on, they're being taken advantage of. They're being abused. They're being defrauded because they believe that they are buying shirts. Most people don't know about this yet. People have been trying to resolve this in the background, including me, but I'm over that. I'm tired of that because what I've been getting in the background is a lot of threats and stuff like that from, from Sam from Forge from Freedom because he, he, he's just this kind of person, as we're finding out. This has all been unfolding, I think, over um, more than a year probably, over definitely several months. It's been unfolding and people have come to realize like this guy is, is not a good guy. And he's doing things. He knows how to pull the strings and, and play on the sentiment of the gun community and take advantage of people. But what he's telling you that he's doing, if you believe what Yankee Marshall said there in this video just now, that's not true. I don't know that he's, I, this is why I'm saying in my title that he's helping this happen. I'm not saying that he's trying to defraud people, but he's helping it happen because he doesn't reach out to people. He doesn't talk to anyone. He just jumps out there and starts making videos and talking about things and telling people, oh, go support this without ever getting evidence, without ever getting proof from Sam from Forge from Freedom that what he's saying about PayPal and Amazon is even true. I've asked for that proof and I've never gotten it. And that's the thing. I don't really believe it exists. I just believe that he has financial issues right now and what he's deciding to do is take advantage of people and if folks like me ask questions and want to know more before I get my audience engaged um, in sending their money to him, okay, maybe they'll get some t-shirts, but the money doesn't really do what they thought it was going to do. It does not support myself or others in the gun community. For me asking about that, I've gotten threats and all that kind of stuff. And you know what? I'm not that kind of, I'm not the person to deal with that, you know? Uh, and on top of all of that, I really, really believe that uh, it's important for me to let the folks out there know in the gun community what is going on. Because I think that as this guy gets more desperate, he's going to get into more schemes and try to do more things. And people ultimately in the end are going to be, um, they, they're going to realize that they, that they got taken advantage of. And I don't really want that to happen. So I'm putting that out there now. Now, obviously, people are going to say what they have to say. I'm, I'm 
go ahead and do that. Say what you have to say. Do whatever it is you feel that you have to do. But I think that from my point of view, it's time that people start talking about this and let this be known. Um, Fortune Freedom should clear, should clear all of this up. Okay? I do not want to be on your website. Remove the Hank Strange store. Don't hide it. Remove it. I don't want it there. I'm not going to speak for Mac, but he's not supposed to be on your website so far as I know. I'm guessing it's probably going to be the same thing, but, you know, he's totally capable of speaking for himself in that regard. Same thing with uh, Guns and Gear. He shouldn't be there. Shouldn't be hidden and then... You know, he's still really there. You're still maybe making money off of this stuff, but you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Okay? Be straightforward and honest with people. Or, you know, do you, but I'm going to let people know what you're up to. And so far as Yankee Marshall, if you um, ever take the time to watch this video, you know, I think that you should, um, you know, you should look into this. You should make sure that if you are selling t-shirts if you're selling t-shirts to your fans and you're telling them that that money is going to support different charities and all that stuff you might want to check into this and make sure that money actually went out to those charities if that's indeed what's going on and what's important to you but you know once again i can't tell people what to do i can only uh, put this stuff out there and let it live it, it's not really what I want to do. Like I said, I feel like I'm 50 cent and I'm getting out on social media and telling people that, oh, you owe me money, send me my money. Really, I'm doing this because I know I've spoken to folks out there who have bought t-shirts thinking that they're supporting us. And um, I've heard from them recently, you know, that that's really disheartening to them to think that they bought these T-shirts and some of that money was going to come to us and help us do what we're doing here. And it didn't. So to those people, I apologize. That's on me. I made a mistake and dealt with someone that I should have never, ever dealt with. And I got defrauded. And you did as well through me. So that's on me. I think that if I do anything like this in the future, I will uh, maybe do it. We, ha we have something through Teespring, and I think things like that are a lot easier because um, it's a big company, and they don't, you know, they, they're not getting into this. You buy a T-shirt from them, they will send that T-shirt to you. They will send our shares over to us, and there's none of that stuff going on. Are they like a pro 2A company? I don't know. And, um, you know, there's people who are just going to say that they are, like Fortune Freedom, but they're really not supporting the uh, Second Amendment, uh, the gun community. So, all right. I don't want to, I know this is like 20-something minutes long at this point. I don't want to run on. I can say that if you have questions and you want to ask me more questions about this, you can hit me up on social media. You can uh, hit me up on the podcast. We do it Monday to Friday. Um, you know, and uh, it, this had to be said. So uh, I know whatever, whatever bridges get burned or trees get ruffled or whatever happens out of this, I hope ultimately um, that by, by shedding a light on something bad that I think is happening right now in the gun community, everything gets worked out and everyone goes on with their life and we keep fighting for the Second Amendment. Uh, that's it. All right, guys. Peace. See ya.